Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Well, actually I am not in Sweden right now because I had to come here due to a funeral. But I, I don't even think funeral is the right wording for that. It was a burial. The funeral or like the official event where everybody can come and visit and pay the last respect to the person when they are like laying in a casket that was already done a month ago and back then <laughs> i think there would have been the chance for me to fly back to germany but it was like the second week of work or the third and i think there would have been a possibility but for me it did not feel like it is the right it is a hard question you know i talked to family members also like the close people that are connected to the person that died and they told me don't come take your time enjoy your new job and maybe if there's another opportunity in the future you can come so that is why i did not attend the official funeral and i think that is also the reason why i did not really feel too emotional during this event today so of course the close people during the burial cried which is obvious i totally understand that and it was a very sad situation of course but i think like the funeral one month ago if i would have been there it would probably just yeah make me also very emotional and so still i want to say it was a good day for me to tell like to say goodbye to the person in an official way like seeing the urn and also seeing all my family members again after nearly three months and some of them even longer than three months so it was really really nice seeing them um but still of course this question about was it worth going or not i don't really know i think it's always a hard question especially if you think about the whole funeral thing like in certain countries for example in germany you pay a lot of money to bury somebody to make it a nice graveyard like or the grave and the whole area that everything looks nice with flowers with a with a gravestone and it is so expensive which i think is really not a nice thing to like get money out of people that just lost someone i don't think this is a really good way but it is just yeah <laughs> unfortunately it is like that and yeah so i don't know i i think i can say it was a good timing to at least attend this event with my family to yeah make it in an official time to not just like go there in three four months when i have vacation and pay my respect then yeah so it was it has pro and cons of course and also like the working thing i have tomorrow to work and i'm not really happy with myself because there's a lot of work to do and I have like my own goal that I want to achieve. And I already now know that I will not be able to achieve that during this week when I'm here in Germany. But yeah, it's going to be fine. Okay. But now enough about the negative and uh, well, not so nice things on life or the end of life. Let's talk about something totally different. And this is a really hard yeah, topic change now. But I have just read that the law or some regulation for self-driving autonomous um, things regarding Tesla might come. I don't. I would not say this year. They said like the end of this year. Let's say next year, um, because there is like the, there's a certain law that was like making it very hard for this full self-driving um, ability of tesla like first of all i know they are not fully self-driving i know that you always have to pay attention for those things i understand that but still i was always very annoyed that you still don't have the chance to test it out in europe or 
everywhere on the con like globally besides the United States of America. And just having this ability to fully watch the car drive itself somewhere, still you paying attention, holding the wheel, of course. It is so awesome. It is if I, I just read it and I was like, if it's coming next year, it is oh, it is so worth in my opinion. Because I love to test out things. Like I'm a test engineer, so testing out a car with a with a beta software that still makes mistakes is something that I really like because it is not like, oh yeah, I will now sleep in my car, let it drive around until it makes an accident and I I don't know injure myself i still want to like be 100 sure that nothing happens but still it is just crazy to think about like okay the car just drove around a roundabout or managed to get through a very uh, different or difficult path things like that i just want to try it out and yeah of course i need a tesla and all those things but i love it so i'm looking forward and i really hope it is going to happen next year This just made my day. And for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I will include a, a link to a video of a guy from California who just chose this new software. And of course, there are always limits, but this is so impressive what the car can do nowadays already. And that just with cameras. That is something you have to keep imagine. It's not like radar, ultrasonic or LiDAR. You just have basic cameras scanning the area and due to like this ai jet gpt basically thing just put towards self-driving it can do already such incredible things oh it's going to be awesome it's going to be amazing and especially in sweden there are not a, there are not so many people so maybe the worst thing that you can do is crash into a tree still not nice but yeah oh, i'm looking forward Yeah, and now, what time is it? It's close to six. It is way brighter here in Germany than in Sweden still. I was surprised because I thought it's flipping very soon that Sweden is brighter than Germany or like my area in Sweden. Um, but yeah, we will see about that. Okay, with that said, I hope you had a wonderful day. We will see each other in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.